I'm Jenny Hamanko, Team 8 of Cohort 17 at the Guildhall. This is the January 23rd research project of the Materials Editor in UDK, Part 2. This is the December 2011 build of Unreal Development Kit. In this video, I will demonstrate how to make a decal using this manhole cover as an example. The key difference between making a decal and a regular material is that a decal requires an alpha channel input. To make the alpha channel input, we need to go into Photoshop. In Photoshop, you can see my diffuse, spec, and normal map, and also what I will be using for the alpha channel. The black parts indicate what area of the image will be transparent and the white parts will be opaque. So, to add the alpha channel, go to the Channels tab in the Layers palette, click the icon in the bottom right that says Create New Channel. Now, go back to wherever your alpha image is, copy that, and paste it into the alpha channel that you just created. Now you can save your diffuse with that alpha channel information stored in the image. Remember that you need to save all textures that you are importing into UDK as targas and the resolution has to be in powers of 2. Back in UDK, open the content browser and import your three materials. I've already imported them here, my diffuse and spec and normal map and I put them in a group called Textures. To make the decal, go down to the bottom here and click New. Change the group to Decals and change the name to whatever you want. In this case I'll call it Manhole Decal and change the factory to Decal Material then click OK. This will pop up the material editor. Just like making a regular material, drag your three textures, the diffuse, spec, and normal map, into the editor. And connect them to the appropriate slots. So we have the diffuse, specular, and normal. We want to change the blend mode to blend masked. This will allow you to plug the alpha channel on the diffuse into opacity mask. Check to see if it looks okay. Save your changes. Now go to the decals group and there is a decal that I just created. And you can drag that onto the scene. You can add more complex effects to your decals just as you can to making other materials. And that concludes this part of the materials editor.